Hello. Hi, Vicky. Are you there yet? Yes. I just got off the subway. I'm almost there. Sorry, I'm late. That's no problem. I just wanted to tell you I'm inside. Where are you? On the second floor. Should I come to the second floor, or do you want to come down to the first floor? Come upstairs. What? Oh, can you hear me? Okay. I said come to the second floor. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from dinner. What do you want to do? I don't know for sure. When you get here, we'll talk about it. Okay. See you soon. Bye. I can't find my glasses, and I can't see anything. Can you help me find a few things? No problem. What are you looking for? My laptop. Do you see it? Yes. Your laptop is on the chair. Where's my book? Which one? The dictionary. It's under the table. Where's my pencil? There's a pencil in front of the lamp. That's not a pencil. That's a pen. Oh, sorry. There is a pencil behind the cup. How about my backpack? Do you know where that is? It's in between the wall and the bed. Where are my shoes? They're on the left side of the TV. I don't see them. Sorry, I made a mistake. They're on the right side of the TV. Thanks. Oh, and here are your glasses. They were next to your cell phone. Joseph, who is that woman? That's Susan. What does she do for work? She's a lawyer. Is she American? No, but she speaks English fluently. She's really tall. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. We're friends. Who's that man standing next to her? Which man? That short guy on her right. What's his name? Oh, that's Matt. He's really good looking. Yeah. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I think my sister does. Is he married? Yes, he's married. I remember now. I met him before. Hello, Richard. Hi, Karen. How have you been? Not too good. Why? I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not serious. That's good. How's your wife? She's good. Is she in America now? No, she's not here yet. Where is she? She's in Canada with our kids. I see. I have to go now. Please tell your wife I said hi. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Charles, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids, a boy and a girl. What are their names? Jack and Stephanie. How old are they? Stephanie is eighteen and Jack is twenty-four. Are they in school? Stephanie is. She goes to college in Washington, and Jack works in Florida. What does Stephanie study? She studies English. Is she here now? No, she's at school. Robert, this is my friend, Mrs. Smith. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Smith. What do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh, where do you work? New York University Hospital in New York City. What do you do? I'm a teacher. 
What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in New Jersey. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 32. Did you hear about Molly and Dan? No. What's going on? They're getting a divorce. Really? They've been married for 30 years. Dan cheated on Molly. That is awful. Did you hear the office rumor? No, I didn't. What's happening? They're going to lay off several people this month. Where did you hear this? I heard it from Bill. Are you worried? Yes. I've only been here for six months. Then I should be more worried than you. Why? Everyone likes you here. I've only been here for four months. How are the kids? They're doing well. How old are they now? Mike is 18. He's in college. Janet is 16. She's in high school. Wow. They're growing up. I know. They're growing up too fast. Do you remember our 10th birthday? Yes, we got a puppy that year. I miss that puppy. Me too. He had a great name. Actually, I don't remember his name. How could you forget his name? His name was Buster. Oh, yeah. It was a sad day when Buster died. I never wanted another dog after that. How old was Buster when he died? You don't remember anything. He was 14 years old. Do you remember when we were kids? Yes, you were mean to me. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You used to take my toys. I did? I'm sorry. That's okay. You're a great brother now. What are you doing this weekend? I have so much to do. Why are you always so busy? Because I have two jobs and I go to school part-time. I'm sorry. Did I make you upset? No, I just have a lot of stress. Can I help you? Not really. It's just work and school stuff. You need to make time for yourself. I know. Let's get dinner together next weekend. Have you met Joanne, my new roommate? No, I have not. I'll introduce you when she gets home. Okay. Is she nice? She's really nice. She's our age, too. Cool. We should take her to the coffee shop later. Great idea. 